everybody. Yes, here we are today. It's Saturday, so that involves working, working, and working. Right, here we are. Just want to tell you a story, folks. The other night, uh, about four o'clock in the morning, it was quite dark and I had a really itchy asshole. So I thought I'd better go in there and uh, get some anusol on it. So came in here, fumbled around, got the tube out, put it on my finger, stuck it up my ass. And it was always oh, like really, really stingy. I was like, oh, that was that, God's sake. So I looked at the tube and instead of anusol, it was Bongella that had stuck up my ass. Oh my God, it was really stingy and sore, man. Crikey. Oh dear, oh dear. Now, for a man of my ability and my means, when I shave, folks, this is my shaving mirror. This is what I used to shave in. I put it on the soap shelf there and shave. I mean, and that's it. This is from an old, um, what is this from? This is from a, an extendable um, thing. You can look down behind things to look for things because of the mirror. And so I snapped the mirror off that and that is what I use. I mean, look at the state of it. I mean, it's only got about 50% vision on it. And that is what I use to shave, folks. Why don't I go and just buy a mirror and get... I don't know. I don't know, folks, but this is what I use. It's pathetic, isn't it? Still seems to do the job. And I've eventually found a shampoo, folks, that seems to fit with my hairstyle. After years and years of looking for something decent, here we've got Wash and Go that I found it in a, a super drug or a semi chem in Dunfermline. Um, and it was really good and it ran out a couple of days ago, so I was panicking. I was like, oh no! But Rosie managed to get me a couple. So I found an outlet which is in the ferry so I can just get my Wash and Go. This is what Jag uses, folks. Wash and Go! And this is what happens, you see, when you don't have total vision for shaving. There it is. And even though I was using my blue, Gillette blue with the slalom thingy-majiggy lubricant on it, still managed to cut myself, folks. Excellent. Let's see if I can... See, the thing is, when you, you do that, it's fine, it goes away, but then two minutes later, you get a big, massive globule. Blub. That's how it goes. Blub. Right, going to work. The essential things. You need your badges. You need your fob. You need a pen, lip seal, a knife, car keys, shades, and spinner. Spinner, spinner. How to clean a spinner? You get your WD-40 cloth, and you just give it a quick like that. Because after a day's worth of spinning, you do get gunk and stuff going into the the bearings, and so you have to give that a good. A good clean there it is look at that so now the ball bearings are moving nice for extra visibility today yes there we go that's it <laughs> 